Hey guys, welcome back to Bling a Ding Ding. All right, we're gonna do something fun today. We're gonna check out this box of jewelry and see what's inside. All right, let's see what's in this box. A big old bag. First thing are these carved earrings. These are cute. So I'll probably pass those around eight. These are really cute. Now I source jewelry a lot online simply because you can do bundles. Like this particular seller. These are our nice mustard yellow. This particular seller, if you spend $50 or more, you get free shipping and they run auctions starting at 99 cents. Oh wow, that's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. And sometimes they have stuff that's not jewelry, like this piece is just a wall hook and I love it. I'll either keep this or I'll do it in a whatnot junk lot, you know, little junk sale where people pick what they want. Got some rings. Is this one? And then this one. And that one. So I'm hoping to find some Christmas stuff in this one because tonight I have a Christmas in July pick two sale, 7 p.m. on whatnot. I don't know if I'll have this video up before then, but we'll see. And another ring, and I know I should be telling you what I plan to price stuff for, but I'm not actually sure on some of this. just know that I'll price it. I'm going to be able to price it a lot better than what I paid for. We'll just leave it at that. That's more rings. And if you see anything in here you want, always just hit me up at blingadingding01 at gmail.com. I'll try to get a better um view in the future for you. So no, this isn't ideal, but I'm kind of new at doing the boxes like this. My other channel, I've been on YouTube for six years, but it's quite a bit different than this one. These are some really pretty dainty rings and you could lot some of them up to be stack rings. The jewelry is something that, you know, a lot of times, you know, it's a long tail item, but the rewards can definitely make that worth it, at least in my opinion. Here's another item that wasn't jewelry. Star Wars. <laughs> From the Adventures of Luke Skywalker. Ooh, what year is this? This is... Nineteen seventy six. No, this is the first edition was printed in nineteen seventy six. This was printed in July nineteen seventy seven. It does have pictures from the movie. Anyway, it was ninety nine cents, so I grabbed it. Some more rings. I really like this one. That's a 
big old statement ring and then there's this one and then this one Does anybody else just love jewelry? It feels like downstairs in my inventory, unlisted inventory. <laughs> it feels like, you know, like I'm a dragon with its hoard. It's, yeah, so much stuff. There's a lion's head pendant. It looks like on the back. I recently sold a necklace that was from the 1970s. Big, huge lion's head pendant. Picked it up for $18.50 and sold it for $68. I was pretty happy about that. Got some, also not jewelry, Slytherin patches. I think there's two in here. These are from Universal Studios. I think that was 99 cents as well. Another ring. This is a sterling silver necklace, lab created ruby. I always jump on sterling when I can get it for a good price. Really beautiful beaded bracelet. And that's, that's gorgeous. I always love beaded stuff because, oh my gosh, the time that takes to make these little scarab beetle bracelet. I'm also going to be taking part in the brochathon on whatnot, August 6th at 2 p.m. Eastern. That's going to be a lot of fun. Got this piece. I'm pretty sure this was sterling as well. Needs a good cleaning. Or not. Some people, you know, like their sterling to not be cleaned. I just thought this was an interesting bolo pendant piece. It looked older and it was only 99 cents. It says Turf Paradise. If anything, it'll go into a junk sale. I love those little sales, so much fun. I haven't had one of my own yet, but I've shopped a few and they're just so much fun. Another lot of rings. And rings are always a good buy when you can get them at a good price. And I'll put down in the description how much this lot was. I mean, for all this stuff. At least I'll try to. And of course, you gotta remember that each individual buy, well not each, but a lot of them came with more than one piece. So do you sell jewelry? And if you do, how much do you like to pay per piece when you're buying in bulk like this? I think these are J. Crew. Oh, and just to make things easier, if you do request anything, you know, send me a screenshot or let me know the timestamp in the video. We got the earrings. We got pretty emerald colored ones. And we've got a couple of rhinestone pairs. Now these are screw backs. And then these are clips. I love that bling. <laughs> now, 
No, I've been recording for six years and I haven't made a lot of videos lately. So it's having to get used to being on camera all over again. These are really pretty. These are posts. I don't think they're marked. No, but they are beautiful. These are just some world market studs. Ooh, genuine shell. Of course, I think the one that had shell, they may have been the one they cut off, so. <laughs> bracelet. This one is unmarked. I was reading the bag and it says 925 accent. But I don't know that that's specifically for that or if I just reused the bag. This one comes with earrings. And as always with these, they need to be retwisted. Really, really pretty. And then the earrings look like that. In our post. Another ring. Yes, I like buying rings. Really pretty. Lots of sparkle. For those of you that sell jewelry, what's your favorite type of jewelry to sell? Brooches, necklaces, earrings, rings. Really pretty beaded necklace. Another little lot of rings. There's that one. There's that one. That reminds me of something like my great grandmother would have wore. And there's this one. So I'm actually really loving selling on whatnot. Um, I wouldn't say that I put my very best pieces on there. I mean, I wouldn't put, these are like the yellow ones, but nice white. I wouldn't put my best pieces on there. You know, I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't have put that line piece that I sold on there. I've got some Hattie Carnegie. I wouldn't have put that on there. These are just different earrings. No, they're a little hard to see in there, but we'll be here all day if I pull all these out. So I sell jewelry on eBay, Macari, and whatnot through my stores, which are pulling a ding ding. And then that set, that set, and that set. And then I also sell some jewelry through my husband's account. So on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. It just depends on what I feel will fit better. Like, I try to do the really blingy stuff on Bling a Ding Ding. I got a lot of these really pretty. I never can say it right, so I'm not going to try. But they're art glass bracelets. These are really, really pretty. It's like mil Yeah, I'm, I 
said I wasn't going to try to say it, and I tried to say it, and I knew I couldn't. <laughs> Okay, we're reaching the bottom. There are just some older earrings. Nineteen eighties or so. Oh, these are pretty. These are tiny little things. Very pretty. Retail of $28. Oh, finally some Christmas. Got a deer. That'll go on tonight's brooch sale. Oh, these are pretty. Earrings. It's not pretty. I look how they catch the light. We're almost there, people. We got a pendant. Love the blue and white. That's really popular lately. And then looks like the last item. Oh yeah, this is something that may go in the junk lot. This is a little 50 year calendar, it's brass. And this is 1990 through 2039. Red month for leap year. This is really cool in my opinion. That's what the back looks like, it's just plain. And that is it for this box. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see me do more of these, well, I hope you do because I've got a lot of joy. <laughs> so, um, again, if you see anything you like, hit me up. Check out the sale tonight if this goes live in time. And I'll see you next time. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that bell so you never miss a video. Sorry, I shook the camera. And I'll see you next time. Bye.